Hello, that is the fastest Mastercam course. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how can you use Mastercam uh, in a short time. Okay, that's our meaning operations. So I can create my toolpad like this. As you can see that there is uh, facing and counter and pocket or drilling operations. So we call it 2D toolpad operations. So I can create that uh, toolpad in a short time. So that is uh, that's that's not normal course. That is fastest course. So you need to be careful about that. So in that case, I'm gonna explode my toolpad and all my operations. So that's my curve. So I don't need to create my solid. I just need my and curve and arc that's enough for me to create my toolpad in mastercam that is the effective way so of course before that i need to select my machine that's my machining operations after that i'm gonna click my milling and default machine machine is also important case if you create and some toolpad and nc code according to your control unit you need to be careful about that your machine so I'm gonna select my machine as a default so I can create my toolpad while I am creating my toolpad I don't need to go to the toolpad operations I, I can also create right mouse button if you cannot see that and operation stuff you need to be careful about that that's solid and levels or toolpad section here I'm gonna Focusing on toolpad right now. I'm gonna click right mouse button and tool mill toolpad operation So after that I'm gonna select face toolpad So in that case I need to select my contour. That's my contour uh, That's our of gonna help me uh, To select my curve, but in facing operation. It's not important, but contour operations. It's uh, it, it can be uh, important after that I'm gonna click OK after that I need to fill all that uh, stuff and to create my toolpad as you can see that I can also change my toolpad operation as you know that I'm selected face toolpad but I can change it also I can change my chain geometry like this that's also important uh, for us after that I'm gonna click tool so I can create my tool uh, in that case I need the right mouse click so after that I can create tool section so I'm gonna select ant mill and 10 millimeters I'm gonna click finished after that I need to write my feed rate and cutting speed that's my cutting speed and feed rate so uh, my feed rate and spindle speed calculated according to cutting speed and feed rate that's my plunge feed rate i can write here 1000 according to my feed rate of course you can use the, something like that okay after that i'm gonna click linking operations i'm gonna click absolute so it means that i'm gonna focus on my uh, master cam vcs so i don't care about and uh, my contour levels so i'm gonna click on that i'm gonna write 10 that's my feet plane that's my top of stock that's my depth okay facing operations it's enough for me so after that i can turn back the cut parameters i don't wanna leave any stock on the floors i'm gonna write and my step over that's my step over parameters that's my cutting angel so i can select my zigzag style so that's my and uh, perfect options i can see as you can see that i created my toolpad of course after that if you don't like that toolpad that's my simulation so i can click on parameters again so i can select for example high speed loops so you can see that that is a sharp movement uh, to translate one toolpad to another 
after change your toolpath of course you can see the some uh, x like this so you need to click on that to generate your toolpath so you can change it after that if you would like to uh, change your maximum step over for example i can change it like this that is according to my tool diameter so it's calculated that percentage to calculate five millimeters after that i'm gonna click ok i'm gonna click that one so after that i can uh, use the right mouse button to isometric perspective after that i'm gonna click uh, simulation mode that button after that i'm gonna click the play button so i can see what's happening on my toolpath okay okay that's it yeah i think everything is okay after that of course i'm gonna hit it my toolpad by using that properties okay after that i'm gonna create my contour toolpad i'm gonna click right mouse button new toolpad and contour operations so i am here that's our operator position so i'm gonna click on that that is my clockwise cycle so that is right if it if it is not right i can use that one to change my arrow so i'm gonna click ok button after that i can select my tool my tool gonna, uh, 0 0.1 so that's my cutting speed so that's it i'm gonna click linking parameters S i can write 5 1 that's my top of stock and that's my depth so i can write 20 millimeters so i can cut 0 to 20 millimeters according to our uh, vcs so that's it i'm gonna click cut parameters and that is a tool diameter compensation compensation calculated by computer my tool gonna be right side according to my arrow and as you can see that i created uh, after i selected the circle so you see that so that's it after that i can select my depth cut so i can write five millimeters i'm gonna use leading operations i don't want to see the some line i just want to see circle i'm gonna click on that one that one that's entering that's exit operations i'm gonna click ok ok i made a mistake so i'm gonna keep my tool to outside so i can click on parameters cut parameters and i can select left so i'm gonna regenerate my dirty operation so that's it that's my toolpath okay after that i'm gonna select my all operations and backload simulation i'm gonna click on that that's my facing operation after that that's my counter operations okay that's it after that i can create my pocket operation i'm gonna click right mouse button and i'm gonna click pocket that's my pocket i'm gonna click on that that's my tool and that's my linking parameters of course you can write your cutting speed and feed rate of course don't forget to write your plunge feed rate after that i'm gonna focus on linking parameters it can be absolute 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 and absolute i'm gonna write here minus 10 so it means that i'm gonna cut 0 to minus 10 okay that's roughing cut parameters i don't wanna leave any stock on the wall i don't wanna leave any stock on the floors so i can select standard toolpad that is conventional or clump meaning i'm gonna select the conventional machining so after that roughing properties so in that case i can select inside to outside options that's my step over okay that's my uh, cutting style so i can select parallel spiral clean corner so that's it okay i also want to use the ramp options by entering my pocket okay i don't want to use the finish operations so of course 
in that case I need to decide it my depth of cut because I don't wanna uh, cut 0 to minus 10 in a one time so I can uh, select the depth cut so I'm gonna write my uh, depth of cut parameters it can be two millimeters so I'm gonna click OK so that's it that's my pocket operations okay fast okay it's time to create some drilling operations I'm gonna click on that after that I'm gonna select my point one two three and four okay that's enough I'm gonna click OK of course I need to select my uh, drilling operations so I can select center drill firstly so I'm gonna click finish that that's my feed rate that's my spindle speed I think that's enough that's my linking parameters I can write here 5 1 and minus 3 that's only centering operation so that's why I'm writing 3 so that's my cut parameters it can be uh, that one so I'm gonna click OK after that I don't need to turn back to mill tool pad and something like that I just wanna copy that one and past it so after that I can change my um, tool and uh, so after that maybe I can create 10 millimeters diameter drilling operations so that's my feed rate that's my spindle speed okay after that I can change my drilling operations like this okay let's do that 25 so in that case maybe I can use the chip break or pack drill operations or I can write my pack drill operation I'm gonna click OK after that I need to generate it so after that I can select all my operations and to see what's happening I'm gonna click the backload operation I'm gonna click that one to see what's happening so face contour and pocket and after that drilling operations okay after that I am gonna save my master cam file I'm gonna click G1 to create my post according to uh, con uh, funnel control unit I'm gonna click OK so I can see the my toolpath okay that's that's it and uh, I created my toolpath okay that's my last toolpath as you can see if you want you can remove block numbers if it is not necessary for you okay that's it I created my toolpath without using any solid or surface model just using uh, some curve or circle so that's enough okay I'm gonna keep going